Hey everyone, thanks for checking out this video. Harrison here from the VoiceForm team, and we're gonna be discussing top questions for your next psychographic survey. In today's video, we'll be going through what is a psychographic survey? How do surveys that collect psychological-based attributes and information from audiences differ from, let's say, demographic information? And then we'll go over uh, a ton of example questions that we think would be perfect for your next survey. And also, uh, you know, share some tips on how VoiceForm and our team could help you if you need as well. So let's dive in. So first things first, what is a psychographic survey? And ultimately it's a survey or a study to help you classify and understand people based on uh, psychological attributes, uh, such as values, lifestyle, personality, uh, traits, opinions. And ultimately that is something that differentiates um, itself from let's say demographic attributes like age, education level, um, you know, potentially where they live, religious views, et cetera. And so you're looking to understand more about the why behind, you know, people's motivations or behaviors versus more quantitative demographic based information. And why, um, you know, do you want to use these in a survey at the end of the day? It's really about getting a better and more holistic view into your user, how they make decisions. That's probably the number one reason why you'd want to add these in, but also want to know more about um, you know, forecasting um, their decision-making skills and ultimately how that kind of relates back to maybe how they purchase, how they think about your brand, why they would view um, you know, your product in a certain way versus another. Those are just a few examples. But I think the most important thing with these types of surveys is that they, especially with psychographic-based questions, uh, really shine when you ask qualitative-based questions. So open-ended questions where you can let people really expose their behaviors, their mindsets, and I think that'll really help you understand more about their decision-making capabilities as well. So I'm covering today a summary of a blog that we wrote on this topic matter. So we, on our website, voiceform.com, have over 44 questions that are examples of psychographic-based questions for your survey. And these are the types of questions that you really should be, you know, uh, weaving into your surveys wherever possible and wherever it makes sense, because it's always great to try when you're engaging with a customer base or an audience to pick out psychographic based tidbits of information or insight, in addition to maybe your more traditional quantitative or demographic based questions. So head over to our website, voiceform.com. You can see all the example questions that we have. And then of course, if you have any questions around how to start applying these to your surveys, whether it's help with programming a survey, getting started with creating or launching your first psychographic study. We're always happy to help you. So you can reach out to us at voiceform.com uh, or connect with us at hello at voiceform.com. All those details will be in the description below this video. Uh, and we'd love to help you set this up. Um, you know, ultimately as a qualitative and quantitative insight platform, our surveys help you leverage the best of voice, video, and text to draw out great emotional insight from end users. And so it's a great use case for a sort of graphic study. So excited to work with you or share more about how we can help you get this started. So thanks for tuning into this video. And as always, you can check out a ton of videos that we have on uh, customer insight and survey best practices um, on our channel. And so feel free to check that out as well. Thanks for tuning in and we'll talk soon.